Okay, we're gonna check your heat exchanger, Adam. It's late in the day, and this has been sitting here all day with the water pressure going through it. And as you can see, I'm very busy. I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff to do to finish off. I got that one I haven't even populated yet. That one's I'm finishing up, and I got another one I'm starting here. Plus a whole bunch of heat exchangers. I had to move everything aside to check your heat exchanger, which happens to be perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no water coming out, okay? It is, that clock is wrong because it's an. it was never set ahead. So it's really 4.30, okay? So it's been all day since early morning when this was first tested. And again, there's pressure in the line. I'll show you that there's high pressure going in it. There you go. And there's a lot of pressure in coming out of there and there's no leak. I'm gonna shut it off. And then I'm gonna tip this thing up and show you that there's no water gonna come out of that area there because I don't see any right now there's nothing coming out of it okay see how dry that is Dry as a bone. I'm gonna tip it up on its side. Up, so if there were any leaks in this, the water's gonna show in the mouth of that fitting right there. It's gonna show right in there, okay? Dry as a bone, Adam. Dry as a bone, there's no nothing coming out of there. This thing is solid. There's no leaks, okay? Nothing wrong with this heater. Your problem is, is you got something coming in. You can see there's water coming in. This, look at the rusty water coming off your engine, okay? Dry as a bone, okay? So I'm shipping it back to you and um, you can pay the shipping. That's it. Now I got to get back to some customers here that are depending on me to get this stuff out. I am overloaded, as you can see.